All right, today's lecture is actually on the hydraulic trainer. First part of what we're gonna talk about in the hydraulic trainer is a few different parts. We, uh, we have the pump, and the back side is actually the reservoir. It's a non-vented uh, non reservoir. So then we have the pump. From the pump, we have different controls. We have a flow control valve. We have a backflow preventer, directional control valve, uh, two different types of cylinders. These are some T's. This is an inline gauge, and then this is a, another pre pressure regulator where we could actually run off of the pump uh, to, to the location. This is actually where the feed from the, uh, the, the hydraulic fluid comes from. So the, the, pretty much the only section that we can do for this one is we're going to, to show a cylinder, and in this case we're going to move this cylinder up and down. It's a double acting cylinder, it's not a single. Uh, we do not have a single acting cylinder on the, uh, on the trainer, but we do have a, a two double acting. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to, to come off of the, uh, the, the power feed. We're actually going to feed the material uh, to the directional control valve. Then we're going to come off the directional control valve to the uh, to the up portion of the double double acting cylinder. Remember, a cylinder does work in a linear fashion. It's either up or down, left or right, not rotational. That would be a hydraulic motor, in which we do not have one of those on the trainer. All right, so there's the two in. Now, if you remember, the hydraulic fluid has to make its way back to the reservoir once it's being moved. So we have to make sure we hook up our returns properly so that the hydraulic fluid can go back to the reservoir. So these are the out portions of the uh, directional control valve. And preferably, the directional control valve is, is, is labeled properly and that you can actually see where the connections are at. The connections we're making, these are tubes, and the connections we're making are called ports. So we've connected the tubes to what these quick connects to the ports. The ports the, from the directional control valve run out to the cylinder, since the double acting cylinder, cylinder, and then back. Keep in mind that before operating any type of hydraulic uh, cylinder or, or hydraulic system, make sure you use your proper PPEs, uh, potential gloves, a um, uh, safety glasses and any other type of PPEs that you need and also when you're testing for leaks that you don't uh, you know don't use your hands use a cardboard a piece of paper even some wood uh, this is a trend this is this is actually a hydraulic fluid that we're using to uh, fill that the reservoir in to, to utilize for the uh, the trainer so now we're going to apply electric power this electric power will will pump the pump, will power the pump. And in some cases you can actually use pneumatic uh, or other types of hydraulic to actually run the pump. So in this case here we're going to go ahead and turn the pump on. It's going to create pressure. You can see here we're reading about 30 to 35 PSI, PSIG for gauge. And uh, I do not see any leaks. So we'll give, it, give the, uh, the old uh, Directional control valve at bump. And we see nothing working. Check it out and see what we got we have going on here. I don't see anything that's not working right. Oh, I know what was going on. We'll come back on. We have pressure here, but we didn't energize the system by turning on the valve right there at the pressure. So now we've allowed the pressure to fill the tubes all the way to the directional control valve. And so we hit the button, we hit the valve, which you can't quite see. Directional control valve up and the valve should go up and you can see it slowly making its way up. If you see close enough you can see the hydraulic fluid running through the tubes. Push the stop the stop the directional control valve and push it back down. See the directional control valve going back. You can see the hydraulic fluid going back through the tubes to its location. <coughs> if we wanted to add another wrinkle to this, we could also run the lines through the flow control valve, where we could adjust the flow with the adjustment here, and we could adjust the flow 
to raise or lower that cylinder at a, at a, at a set speed. But in this case here, we just left it this way. And uh, that is a circuit, that is a typical circuit using hydraulics, using hydraulic fluid with a reservoir and hydraulic pump. That is your lesson for today. Thank you.